Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, or whatever time you're watching this. Welcome back to Neva. Last we left off, Neva had gone off and <laughs> with her boyfriend and left us to the cold. So now we're back. We're back in it, quite frankly. And we are in a large white space. Sorry if it just made a horrible noise. I accidentally just punched the other side of my desk. Alrighty. Oh, no. Listen to that. Quiet whispering her name. Cry for Never in Winter Part 2. Thank you for the achievement, video game. Making me sad. God, it's so cold. If only I had a big fluffy dog to hold on to to keep warm. <laughs> fine, that's fine. You know, you found a boyfriend and what am I, a chopped liver? I mean, I, uh, Alrighty, well, let's get up here. Oh, hell no. I didn't even notice the bodies until just, I think they just started, but they're starting a little earlier than these guys. Oh my god, they are worshipping this lady. Okay, we love a musical score that only leads to definitely not menace. Am I crazy or the eyes follow me? It's kind of hard to see because of how bright it is, but... I swear the statue's eyes are following me. Whoa. Come on now, get up there. If that's a gong, I, you know, I know a gong when you gotta hit one. It's gonna be one of them damn plants, huh? Well, maybe not. Looks like a teacup. <laughs> I guess it's a bunch of potted plants, but... You know. Well, it seems like this might be the right way. Are you guys evil? Oh, they are evil. Ow. Ah! I didn't, okay. It's been a... It's been a... <laughs> hasn't been a couple days, but I haven't... I've been playing a bunch of other games. <laughs> Good start, good start, good start. Okay, I'm locked in. I'm locked in. First off, downward strike. Second off, downward strike. Downward strike. Dash, slice, slice, slice. Downward strike. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, what we got? Ouch, should I get hit by that, eh? Downward strike. Ow. Downward strike. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You dodge that. And downward strike. And then dash forward, slicing them up. And bada bing. Bada boom. So, uh, Monster Hunter Wilds revealed some new info about the demo. Uh, there's an arachnophobia mode, which is coming more and more common in more like modern games that have obviously spiders in it. Um, oh, I see what I gotta do. Uh, and then there, there's, there was the game like Grounded, which was like the big, bad, scary enemy was a spider, and all they kind of did was uh, <coughs> just kind of make it a floating orb. And then Lethal Company obviously had the arachnophobia mode, um, which just changed the, probably the funniest one, uh, which just changed the spider to literally a big red, like, block text that said spider. But what uh, Monster Hunter actually did a very clever, well, at least for the small monsters. The big monster, it was a bit of a awkward change, because obviously that one's pretty hard to change. Um, and still have, like, you know... Um, I can't even remember her name. Hold on. What's the name of that spider enemy? Really quickly. Two, sh two shakes of a lamb still have it. For the uh, La Labarina. La um, 
But the sp normal spider enemies, like the big, just crawly ones on the ground, they turn them honestly into like kind of like p part of me is like I kind of like it a little more, like these like slimy slime like snails or slugs, which I kind of like fuck with more. And they just have similar attack patterns and or the same attack patterns, obviously. Like the arachnophobia mode didn't make the game any like easier, quote unquote, and it didn't make it um it didn't change any of the attack patterns or hitboxes of um of said anemones um but i think them working as like slime slash snails is much like it's probably like the most creative way i've seen a like an arachnophobia mode be handled which is fun what the shrigma Oh, I think I... Hold on. Let me just make sure my brain's functioning. Okay. I know what I have to do. I fucked up the jump, though, so it's fine. For La Labrina, unfortunately, obviously, they can't really turn her into a giant slime monster. Um, so she's just a floating, like, torso with some, like... Doesn't even have, like, spider legs, just, like, floating roller skates, and so she's, like, a large chunk of her is invisible. Which I'm like, I guess I get, but it's like, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to feel playing it for people with arachnophobia. Yeah, I never, I don't have arachnophobia. Um, so I don't know how debilitating it is. That's alive. But like, is, do people have that bad of arachnophobia like i know that like it's obviously it's a phobia so i guess so but like even in a game where you can kill them it's kind of fucked up i mean i guess i don't have my freaking dog for this uh come on do an attack buster it's been a while since i fought without neva Um, ah. I know that uh, other games I know that have like phobia modes are is like um, shit. I'm in a really bad spot, quite frankly. Um, is Sea of Thieves, which has a thalassophobia mode, which I'm like, if you're if you have thalassophobia, I feel like just you don't play Sea of Thieves, right? That's like, I feel like at some point there you're just like. Although, I mean, I also, you can definitely enjoy Sea of Thieves without going in the water. Um, but still. I mean, all the Flasphobia mode does in, um, Flasphobia, for those who don't know, is Fear of the Ocean. Which is, I feel like, is probably, like, an incredibly common phobia out of all. Of that seems like a common sense phobia. The ocean's fucked up, yo. Um, all it does is, mechanically, it just makes you float up. So like you can't like literally can't go underneath the surface of the water. I mean I figured I mean I understand like a, a way they could have done it maybe is like maybe like change how the water looks underwater, but obviously that could give an unfair advantage to like competitive players, like if all of a sudden like water visibility is way higher for no reason, you know. Nice. That went swimmingly. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm all for accessibility options in games and stuff. Like, like the only time I'm like, the only time I really disagree with like, like like the whole uh, should there be an easy mode in Dark Souls thing. At the end of the day, I don't care. I don't play on easy mode, right? If you don't want to play on easy mode, just don't. Um, but obviously, like, you have to do take into consideration what the artist's intent for a game is. Obviously, Soulsborne game have a reason to be hard. It's like part of the story, if you will. Um, so, but like at the end of the day, I really genuinely don't think, honestly, like I, I do agree that the hard mode is definitely part of the story, but I feel like the story can get across even if it's not as difficult, you know what I'm saying? Sp at least for Elden Ring where it's a lot more, um, story focused. I don't know how the fuck I'm going to get up there. Uh, to that bloom. Oh, 
Oh, you little shit. Um. Ah! Ouch. Oh my god, my sword goes for the... It doesn't hit both the bong and the person. Ah. Oh, caught me in my roll. Unlucky. Like, I'm not a... Like, I don't play on easy mode. Like, low assault usually goes normal. But I play most of my games on hard mode. Um, simply because I enjoy a challenge. I enjoy that aspect of it. Oh, somehow that didn't hit me, so. Ow. This way, yeah. This way's progress. My brain. I know that these are supposed to be like pottery architecture, but it really does just have the. Don't say you lift that whole damn block. What the shrig? Oh my god, he does! Okay, well, I see what I have to do. I think I do have to go this way. Uh, damn. That's a Healy Dealy up there. Yeah. I, I do hope that accessibility options as a whole go across the gaming industry. I'm not saying, like, to go overboard with that. I'm not saying every phobia needs a mode for every game. Uh, and obviously, like, I, you know, this may sound mean a little bit, but, like, there's some games where, like, if you have a phobia of spiders, you know, you probably shouldn't play it, right? Like, if it's a spider-based horror game, it's not for you, right? Uh, but at the same time, like... Who might be like, oh, you can't, you shouldn't be able to play a game, you're afraid of fucking, uh, gooby woobies. You know, like, ouch, my fucking bones. Um, yeah. I'm not here to, like, police people and how they enjoy games. Although I definitely do think some people enjoy games incorrectly. Uh, or at least engage with games incorrectly. Like, people who look for anything woke and be like, ah, oh, it's fucking woke. I'm like, you don't enjoy video games, you enjoy being upset. Uh. Ooh. Pile of bodies climbing up to something. I'm sure this symbolism will uh, be unnoticed by me. <laughs> mm, yes, this tower to heaven is with the pile of bodies on top. Surely it, it is lost. <clears throat> Speaking of video games, Dragon Age Veilguard came out and I've seen mixed reviews, generally positive reviews from critics. Now, I will say the only Dragon Age game I've ever played was Dragon Age 2. Uh, share. Do with that what you will. I'm not here to really get my opinion on it. But uh, I think the biggest... Looking at the game, it definitely... I don't know if it's a type of gameplay I like, although I do like The Witcher 3. And I did like Dragon Age 2, so if it's anything like that, I'd probably enjoy it. At least to some extent. Um, oh, I have to climb up this... This, uh, corpses. Nice. Uh, but the art style, some people are saying the art style kind of puts them off. And I was looking at it and, like, I kind of get it. It feels like 
Disney Pixar in a way. And I don't mean that as like, it feels like AI generated Disney Pixar a little bit. I'm not saying the game's AI generated. That's kind of the vibe I get from the art style, which is like, at the end of the day, the art style is fine. It's just, you know, not for me. It kind of feels like a little like mix of like between Baldur's Gate and like <sighs> Overwatch, I guess, or maybe Dishonored, like a uh, Dishonored probably be, although, it... oh, just like that, huh? Oh, lovely. All right, I'm going to stab you with a sword now. Didn't I kill you? Or is it who? Was that someone else I murdered? Okay, well, if you can absorb them like that, why do you eat them? Let us duel, woman. Oh, this is sick. Oh my god, that was cool. Oh, I fucked up. Okay, Sephiroth. Okay, I'm one HP. Oh, that caught me. I should have, should have. Uh, thought I could jump over it. I should have just um, dashed through it. Damn, I really wanted to one and done that. attack. Ah! Okay. Oh, god damn it, I did it again. Alright, alright, I'm locked in, locked in. I think I can bait, um... Yeah, I can... I think I can bait that downward strike with, um... If I attack her front. Oh, I didn't roll that, really? Oh my god, you are Sephiroth. Holy shit. fucking side B from Sephiroth here. Oh shit. Oh. I shouldn't have downward strike. How do I defeat you without Neva is the question. Like that, I suppose. Oh. Hold on. She gonna hit me. Yeah. Devil, let's go! Never. Ooh, hell yeah. So we gotta roll behind her even if she's pinned by Neva. She does contact damage, even one pin. What? I'm upset. I fucked up. Okay, it's fine. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Okay, I keep thinking she doesn't do contact damage, but I'm rolling too far away, actually.
She actually doesn't uh, deflect you. Oh, I've rolled twice. I fucked up. She actually just. If there is a time limit. Uh, how long Neva has her pin? Oh, I f shouldn't have three striked. Okay. The contact damage is a bit weird in this phase. I'm gonna be real. Oh, okay. That move came. Well, that's rude. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm locked in. I'm locked in. I'm locked in. I gotta. Don't be greedy. I mean, a little greed is good, but, like, don't be too greedy. Oh, I should have rolled. Ah, rolled back like a dingus. She exploded. Alright, alright, we got her. For real this time. No! Grey Wolf, save your wife! No, no, I swear to. Oh! Go oh, Super Saiyan. Oh, we'll turn each other into flowers, bitch. Wake up, Alba. Get up. Oh, there. I don't like that they're showing me not Al Alba's or not Neva's face. I don't. Mm, I have a bad feeling. Okay, she's just missing an eye. Oh, I'm feeling all tingly inside. Oh, that's beautiful. It must be spring. Or cured the blight. I guess, you know, symbolically, it fits, right? Spring is new bloom. Clearing the blight is new bloom, right? I have a big old smile on my face. Finished Winter Part 2. Hell yeah. Chapter 5. Well, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.